Alrighty, so for the past so for the past couple of days, I've been uh, working extremely hard on getting this garage uh, set up in a different way. It is much brighter. It is much better. And uh, the wife and I have also been uh, getting our Christmas decorations out, seeing what we need. But I've been putting, for the past three days, I've been putting a lot of hours into this garage to have it look and be efficient for when it comes to the needs of the channel. You know, and uh, a, a lot of people say that, uh, that all my tools suck, which as you can see, I actually have quite a few DeWalt tools. I have quite a few Milwaukee tools. I have a couple of... I have a few more tools to get. You know, I have uh, Tac Life. I'm getting Makita. I have Rigid. You know, I I'm a man of all tools, of all brands. You know, I don't like us. Uh, I like Ryobi more, but that doesn't mean that I hate Dewalt or Milwaukee. So, and another thing I wanted to say is, when it comes to all the negative comments that I read. I don't respond back in a, in a nasty way. So yeah, so uh, so yeah, you're not gonna get a negative reaction out of me no matter what because uh, YouTube frowns upon that. So, and plus it's a it's it's a video. You know, it's a, people just see what's on camera. They don't think of what happens off off camera. And a lot of comments that I've been getting is uh, that I don't use my tools, which uh, which I do, obviously for the videos. And uh, I, I, my wife and I bought this house a year ago, and we uh, had no tools when we bought this house. I found the Ryobi One Plus line because it's a cost efficient, and the after doing more research, they're actually extremely powerful for what I need them to do. And so I got into the Ryobi, the uh, so I got into the the Ryobi line, and uh, uh, I started working on the house. Now, a lot of these tools got a lot of uh, wear and tear on them when it comes to the when it comes to using them. All right, so this house was absolutely uh, I'm, I'm not going to say garbage, but it, the house was bad. The house was bad. Uh, it majorly needed to be updated, and I'm still working on it. I used to like if you go back to my early episodes like the first 70 or 90, I like have like about a hundred and something episodes of working on the house. Just recently I've been doing this. And so I use these tools all the time uh, when it comes to working on the yard, the house, you know, and uh, I got all the extra tools uh, for uh, the versus videos. And so, uh, so yes, I do use these tools. Uh, and the only thing is, is uh, I, I, I clean them after I use them so they look brand new. See, and my tools do get dirty. I was using the brushless reciprocating saw uh, to cut out a bunch of uh, big uh, bush uh, stumps uh, from the backyard. And so I this majorly got dirt inside and out and it got scuffed up, you know, just because when you're working, you don't care. So like, but I spent about, about I'd say 15 minutes make, looking, making this look brand new. And so, yes, I, I, am, not a, uh, I am not a carpenter or I, I don't work on the construction site. I'm more of a mechanic than I am a carpenter. So, uh, so I have a boat. I maintain the boat myself. If the stuff needs to be repaired, I do some research on how to do it, and I do it. Because uh, two years ago what happened, the boat overheated, and I needed to completely uh, take apart the cooling system and see what's wrong. And so after doing that, I replaced all the parts that I needed to. And I was quoted for a marina to do it for $2,300. But since I did all the research, it, only, it didn't cost me nearly that much to, to do it myself. And I still have a couple of things to do. I got to take the lower unit of the outdrive off and replace the shaft, the bearing shaft. And that's a project itself, you know, so I, I'm more of a mechanic than a carpenter. So, so I use the impacts a lot. And so, uh, but yeah, I use these tools to update my house. These tools do get wear and tear. I just take the, because I don't use them every day. I take the time to clean them and make them look good. Like the, uh, this gets major, majorly used. And uh, there, like, there are a couple of spots here and there that, don't look brand new, but you it looks brand new to you because it's far away. And so, uh, and so yeah, I just, uh, I use these tools. And uh, 
Yeah, but like like I said, I'm more of a mechanic than I am a carpenter. But yeah, but I, I got most of I got uh, like the other name brands for versus videos. So th that's so that's pretty much that because my main tool is Ryobi. I use Ryobi to take care of the house. Uh, to fix stuff like I said in a pre previous videos. I got to go underneath the house and inspect uh, The the pipes and I got to inspect the the vents to see if there's any Openings or see if stuff is not insulated properly. I'm doing that soon. I got to replace uh, the flooring I got to replace trim. I got to uh, Replace the furnace like I, I I just don't film that stuff anymore because people don't People aren't interested in that. Like my, uh, like people just don't. They they want. They just want to see the end result. They don't care about the uh, the process when it comes to this channel. Well, uh, I my channel started to skyrocket when I started to do the the unbox the the real unboxings, test videos, reviews, and uh, the the uh, and versus videos. You know, it took me a long time to start. To, as soon as I stopped uploading the house, my channel skyrocketed. So I went with the with the media, with the mainstream media of what was interested in what was interesting in this channel, and that is that. So I don't film working on the house anymore. So like you guys see my tools as being clean, that these tools get dirty, and I I just clean them. That's it. I just clean them. Now, if I was a carpenter, I wouldn't clean them. I wouldn't care because I was going to use them directly the next day because I don't, I'm not a carpenter. But I do use these tools. You know, that's, that's why I have them. You know, I just don't collect tools. I have these tools for the channel. You know, it's like if I didn't need these tools, I wouldn't buy them. And so, yeah. So, the, but the Ryobi is my main tool that I use to work on the house. And, uh, and yeah, like there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, I also use these tools to work on the cars and work on the on the boat. The boat is like the main th is the thing I do not take to the to the marina to take care of. Like I I filmed winterizing the boat, but I deleted it because the the uh, uh, my viewers aren't going to care about that. You know, that's not why they subscribe to the channel. The 5.7 V8 engine, uh, and so it's a powerful motor, and uh, it's a 19 foot boat. It's a celebrity. It's it, it's an awesome boat, you know. Like, but I maintain it myself. But yeah, I this episode, uh, I, I have uh, just because the holidays, I've I've been uh, haven't really been filming normally. I have like six uh, episodes ready to edit, and but I don't now. I have like three episodes remaining, so I got to get back. Uh, like so at uh, so after the holiday, I will be continuing uh, uploading like I normally do, like the type of videos that I normally do, because I still have all these tools to to go on i'll show so i'm gonna show you really quick what i've been working on in the garage and it's actually insane so we're gonna start off with here i got rid of my tool chest and then i uh i got one more uh shelving rack to put up there but i've been working on this i put the lawn mower away i got the snow blower out you know and it's uh and it's good it's good. So yeah, so I have test videos to do with like green versus blue. All of these tools are gonna be versing each other. That's the point. And see, I, I took advantage of the holiday sale and get my inventory ready for non-stop versus videos. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.